Like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. From maggots crawling out of cheese to a pair of cockroach legs resting on your favorite chocolate bar. Let's see if you'll buy your favorite food items again, knowing how gross their manufacturing gets. Cochineal in your food. If you're a vegetarian, next time you are going to purchase red soda, strawberry yogurt, or that favorite candy of yours, don't forget to take a look at the ingredients list. If it says Carmen Natural Red 4 or Cochineal Extract, you have been eating powdered bugs your whole life. Cochineal Extract comes from tiny bugs that feed from prickly pears in Mexico, South America, the Canary Islands, and some parts of the United States. The process starts off by scraping off the bugs from prickly pears, smash the color out of them, rinse with fresh water, and make a powdered form of it. <laughs> Apart from synthetic dyes, this organic version is rather expensive, probably because around 70,000 of these bugs are forced to give up on life just to make one pound of the dye. Should I feel bad for bugs being cursed with red color? Or for eating them? Uh, I don't know how many times. Beaver butt goo in vanilla. In a world full of vanilla-flavored cakes, milkshakes, and ice creams, let me unwind the horrifying truth behind vanilla extraction. There's a fair chance of castorium present in them. Castorium is a sweet-smelling brown goo extracted from a beaver's castor gland, close to its anal gland. Beavers use this to mark territories, communication, or making colonies. If you see vanilla bottles labeled with natural flavorings or castor, you are likely having it. But according to Fenaroli's Handbook of Flavor Ingredients, only 300 pounds of vanilla is produced each year, as castorium is hard to come by and it includes injecting beavers with a dose of anesthesia. Sounds gross, but honestly, smells amazing. Maggot cheese. I know all cheese could be dangerous, but a cheese infused with maggots is a whole different level of danger. This is Casumarzu from the Italian island of Sardinia, meaning rotten cheese. After a traditional cheese is made out of sheep's milk, it is exposed to a special kind of fly called a cheese fly. In around 40 days, these flies fill the cheese with larvae. It is then a matter of two to three months that these larvae grow into maggots, eat the cheese, and excrete the yumminess out. Yes, it's the maggots that leave the cheese with the distinctly creamy yet doughy and spicy flavor. But because of the nickname like the world's most dangerous cheese, it's illegal to sell this cheese. Treating your taste buds at the cost of cheese filled with maggot feces? Yeah, I'll pass. Hot dog and animal intestines. Consider yourself lucky if you've never tasted a sausage before, because this yummy, juicy, luscious thing is made from animal scraps. So you're never sure about which part of the animal you're eating. And not just that, they are low in protein and contain high sodium content, labeling it completely off limits. The nasty process of sausage making starts off with grinding the meat leftovers, followed by food starch, salt, and other flavorings. To make it extra juicy, water is sprayed along with a dash of corn syrup for sweetness. The pink slime is finally rolled into long, circular tubes and packed. Although the processing looks satisfying, the ingredients aren't really. Coffee with elephant poo. Believe it or not, but nowadays, poop is getting high in demand. Let me introduce you to the first of its kind, the elephant poop coffee. Canadian entrepreneur Blake Dinkin from the Black Ivory Coffee Company is producing coffee out of elephant's poo. He adds Thai Arabica cherries to elephant's favorite food, which is a mixture of rice, bananas, and tamarind, and feeds them. The magic happens when the elephants poop it out within three days. Somehow, these cherries stay stuck undigested in the poop, so they are hand-picked, sun-dried, processed, and then finally brewed into coffee. Uh, just the way you want your coffee. 
Rich, round, smooth, and pungent. <laughs> Just kidding. It's actually out of this world kind of good. Surprisingly, around one kilogram of black ivory coffee comes from 33 kilograms of Thai coffee cherries. Just curious though, how do people come up with such ideas? Fish bladder in beer. Do you know how beer is made? Well, let's find out what's fishy in our beer glasses. There is something called isinglass in beer, which is actually a dried swim bladder of a fish to help them stay upright in water. For a cherished glass of beer, a Vietnamese catfish or Pangasihan fish sacrifices their swim bladder. After the swim bladder is scissored out of the fish, it is dried, liquefied, or transformed into some sort of gluey mixture. Basically, isinglass is a natural form of protein. During the process of beer formation, it is mixed with yeast as a catalyst to speed up the process and then sets at the bottom of the barrel, leaving behind only sweet-smelling beer. The beer, which would have taken four days to acquire the final shape of, is now ready to drink in just six hours. Whoa! That's a big sacrifice from the fish. But after all, time is money, and a cold glass of beer is waiting for you. Not so chicken in chicken nuggets. Soft from the inside, crispy on the outside, McNuggets are the perfect go-to snack for parties, or like me, when you're just craving them anyway. But there's some nasty business going on behind the counter. According to a former employee of McDonald's, the nuggies are stale food waiting to be sold. To add on top, nine out of 10 times, they restart the timer rather than making fresh ones. According to research done by the National Advisory Committee on Microbiological Criteria for Food, as long as McNuggets are not sitting out at a temperature of above 135 degrees Celsius for more than eight hours, it's safe to have them. The research also goes on, claiming it's just to control microbiological activity on food, and if it drops further, you'll consume microbes shaped up in nuggets. Now, in case you can't skip McNuggets even after this, at least ask them to serve you fresh ones if they actually do that. Potato chips and harmful chemicals. A bag of potato chips on a movie night is all we crave on weekends. We all know potato chips are unhealthy, but it turns out they can be disgusting too. Apart from carbs and fats in potato chips, there's sodium bisulfate stuck to your favorite chips in a smiley devil's face. Sodium bisulfate is a compound usually found in facial cleansers and antifungal products. The manufacturers add this compound in potato chips as well to protect them from discoloration and growing mold. According to the FDA, it is okay to consume this much amount of sodium bisulfate. Turns out my soul food has no soul at all. Jelly beans with insect secretions. After seeing this, you can't keep calm and enjoy jelly beans. Apart from sugar, jelly beans are covered in insect secretions. Yeah, thanks or no thanks, but the shine you see on your jelly beans is due to these bugs from the forests of India and Thailand. They drink sap from trees and deposit shellac, a natural form of resin, onto branches. Shellac is then harvested, processed, and dissolved in ethanol to convert it into a liquid form and ready to spread shine on anything from wooden floors to nails and, of course, jelly beans. Pardon me if I ruined your sweet tooth. Ice cream. Ice cream, you scream, we both scream because you would be shocked to find out what they put in your ice cream. There's an ingredient called propylene glycol that might or might not be listed under the ingredients list of your ice cream pack, but is one of the key ingredients in keeping your ice cream soft, creamy, and scoopable in freezers. Its role is to simply avoid flake formation in frozen ice cream. Propylene glycol is also found in cosmetic items, dog food, antifreeze, and a lot of other stuff used in daily life, including ice cream. It's gross to even think that all my life I was licking on something from the cosmetics section. Arsenic in apple juice. 
Arsenic and apple juice is definitely not a healthy combination. If you're a health freak that loves sipping on apple juice, this is gonna be a nightmare for you. It has come into notice that apple juice has arsenic in amounts that are beyond the safety limits. And according to experts, this much arsenic can actively participate in pouring life to the cancer germ that's being rested inside your body. The question is, who is playing with the lives of those who subconsciously think they're leading a healthy one? No, it's not the American farmers to be blamed, as two-thirds of the apple juice comes from China. And considering they don't have such strict rules regarding pesticides, it might be the Chinese farmers then. Rats in peanut butter. While a giant spoon of peanut butter is all you need to hold your life together, there's something unpleasant that every peanut butter jar is holding. The ingredient list doesn't say anything about it. So what is this thing? Well, the FDA calls it natural contamination, making its way into the deliciousness of peanut butter during its formation. It goes something like this. When peanuts are harvested, some insects get in there too. And machines that process peanut butter are not smart enough to sense if it's actually peanuts or rats getting into the container. And just like that, our tasty peanut butter becomes contaminated with rodent hair and insect fragments. To add an extra dash of flavor, these insect and rat hairs are probably meant to be part of the peanut butter. Oysters. Oysters are the source of vitamin D, copper, zinc, manganese, and a whole lot of contaminations. When people crave for raw oysters, they are actually craving for Vibrio vulnificus. Vibrio vulnificus is bacteria found in water where oysters are cultivated like the Gulf of Mexico. The bacteria grow more rapidly in summers when the water gets warmed up. While most people are blessed with a strong immune system, Others can get exposed to skin allergies, high temperature, vomiting, nausea, or diarrhea. It's a much bigger risk to people with liver diseases or cancer, as they can die in just a couple of days. There's a fun misconception among people that a hot sauce or lime can kill the bacteria, but that's just the case when you're trying to fool yourself. The stubborn Vibrio vulnificus can only get rid of oysters by heating them. Oh, thank goodness. I was hoping there was a safer way to still eat oysters. Mercury in fish. How would you feel if you grew up knowing that fish meat is one of the healthiest meats, and then all of a sudden, there's mercury in fish? What a bummer! The fish tissues contain mercury. And, as per Brad Newman's specialist in marine and estuarine ectotoxology say, that if the mercury limit exceeds from two micrograms per kilogram, it can cause severe mental as well as physical health problems. Mercury being a neurotoxin can affect your neurological system and cause mental retardation in children. And in case you think tuna would be a safer way of absorbing protein, turns out it's one of those which doesn't only have mercury, but also has high levels of arsenic, lead, tin, and who knows what else. Next time you dump plastic, think twice. Tar dye in soda. A bottle of soda keeps the worries away, except if it does not contain coal tar. Coal tar is said to have very high carbon content and usually comes from industrial wastes. It can cause hyperactivity in children and much worse diseases like asthma, cancer, migraines, and many other health problems. Something you would least expect in your food, right? But apparently, it is used in a number of food items varying from cheese to potato chips, soda, or anything that includes orange or yellow artificial coloring to dye them. The video shows, during the boil process of cola drinks, molten sugar is seen, and upon further heating, coal tar is revealed in the drink. On the contrary, curiosity rises with the FDA not showing concern regarding this, which seems like a much bigger problem to worry about. Sheep wool in chewing gum. Most people chew gum because for some reason, it gets their brain going. 
Well, their brain's gonna explode after knowing that one ingredient that makes gum chewy. Besides softeners, sweeteners, flavors, and latex sap from Sapodilla tree, it contains a star ingredient called lanolin, found in the wool of sheep. Lanolin is secreted out of the sheep's sebaceous glands present on the skin. Due to its waxy consistency, it helps in keeping the skin waterproof. And for that very reason, it's also used in lip balms, moisturizers, and other skincare products. That's a really sticky situation Lenolin has put chewing gum lovers into. Microwave popcorn with toxic gas. Going to the movies without popcorn is an incomplete experience. Well, now you'll have to look for an alternative because microwave popcorn can be hella deadly. See, the thing with this popcorn is their outer packaging, loaded with four dozen of chemical layering to aromatize them with buttery flavor. When the bag of popcorn is exposed to heat, it transfers into gaseous vapors, which can easily be inhaled. A very common disease called popcorn lung is related to the same phenomenon. A lot of workers in popcorn manufacturing factories are suffering from the same disease. According to the manufacturer, to avoid the toxic inhalation, it is advised to wait for the bag to cool down and then open up under a stove fan. Nutella. Live life with Nutella and you will never be sad. Well, I'm afraid I'd have to burst your happy bubble because it seems like this jar of chocolatey goodness contains a good amount of unhealthy ingredients as well. As per health experts, two tablespoons of Nutella dancing on your taste buds contains 200 calories, 12 grams of fat, and 21 grams of sugar. For Nutella lovers, two tablespoons is a starter before digging into a whole jar of dreaminess. Despite this, ridiculous amounts of Nutella jars are produced each year. It's used for breakfast, desserts, and ice creams most of all, for binge eating as a late night snack. Let's see how many of you are true Nutella lovers after all. And now, let us move on to our subscriber pick of the day. This image was sent to us by one of our subscribers. Similarly, if you ever wish to know more about an image you come across, just send it on over to us. Who knows, we might even feature it in one of our videos. Today's subscriber pick is a picture of Indian farmers washing hundreds of fresh carrots, literally with their feet. Carrots being root vegetables easily grow in sandy soil and hence are infested with pests and diseases, which is why this so-called traditional method is used to wipe the dirt off these bright orange carrots. Can you actually call it a cleaning process? Well, let us know your thoughts in the comment section. Canned fruit. Canned fruit sure is a quick way to munch on a healthy snack. You know, instead of cleaning, peeling, cutting, and then finally hopping on them. But a little patience is worth the trouble because the problem with canned fruits is the sugary syrup they're dipped in. It's just made out of sugar and nothing else. And consuming a whole lot of sugar in one go is definitely not the healthiest act. Apart from this, tin from the canned fruit is layered with a chemical called BPA as a preservative, which penetrates into the fruits and sucks the goodness out of them. BPA also contributes to the thickening of blood vessels going up to the brain. Pears, peaches, plums, and grapes, what is going on with you? Gelatin. Gelatin is used in so many desserts, be it ice cream, jellies, or cosmetics, you'll see it on the ingredient list of many items. But do you know what gelatin is made of? Well, let me drop this bombshell on you. Gelatin is a protein that we get by boiling down the bones, skins, ligaments, and tendons of dead or alive, both kinds of animals. It appears to be tasteless, odorless, and slightly yellow-toned. Consider yourself lucky because after consuming gelatin, most people experience heartburn, vomiting, belching, stomach burn, and bloating. Well, these people can be lucky too, as manufacturers are trying to find more natural ways of making gelatin. But you still gotta be careful about it. That's it for today, guys. 
Thank you so much for watching the video till the end. See you next time.